what's up guys and welcome back to another video today football at the counter ground is back it's been a long time since i said that i'm absolutely buzzing swindon town versus Plymouth Argyle now it's not going to be an easy game in fact it's going to be probably one of the toughest games of the pre of our pre-season is at home it's our only home game of pre-season now if you told me a few years ago that we were playing Plymouth Argyle with a pre-season friendly i would have actually predict it to be really close because if you looked at where we were compared to where they were we we're both teams that were battling to get out of league two now now they're in the championship and of course we're in mid table in league two now we haven't had the busiest of transfer windows we've only made three signings one of them being yesterday Liam Kinsella now I'm, I'm still not over it it's absolutely an amazing signing Plymouth though I'm not sure how they uh, pre-season went uh, any Plymouth fans watching this comment down below your thoughts on your pre-season now for my prediction, I reckon we will lose this game. I reckon it'll be a 3-1 win. I want Swindon to score at least one goal and I want it to be one of the new signings, Dan Kemp or um, K Liam Kinsella. Obviously, it's not going to be Murphy Mahoney, it's bloody goalie. So, um, yeah, last time we played at uh, Plymouth in the league, we did draw a one all and I must say, their fans were absolutely class. I'll give them that. They, they came in so many numbers. So, um, yeah, hopefully we see that again today. And I'll see you guys at the county ground. Come on, you Reds. So, guys, here we are back at the county ground for another season. It's been a long time coming this. Can't wait for the game. Frankie, what's your prediction? 4-3 Plymouth. 4-3 Plymouth. What a game that would be. What about you, Shay? 4-0 Plymouth. 4-0 Plymouth. Mine is 3-1 Plymouth. But I don't see us winning today. So guys, I forgot to mention earlier, I was in town earlier, met three legends, John Trollope, Don Rogers and Chris Kamara is the guy who's on the screen right now, but when that's not Chris Kamara, as you would normally say, unbelievable, Jeff. So welcome out the team to introduce the visitors, the Argonaut, and make some noise for the best in the West, Swindon Town! Yes! Come on, Swindon! It's been a long time coming. Football is back at the county ground. Come on, boys. Tackle. Is that a corner? Yeah, it's a corner. To take the lead here. Get it away. Good header. Go on, Austin. Go on! Oh, what was that? What was that? Come on, Austin. Oh, let's take it short. Oh, Go on, Alan. Go on! Oh. oh, he went for it. Oh, no. What a save from Murphy Mahoney. What a save. Oh. That's out. There you go. Go get. Go on, get out, get out. Whee! Play poles in the way. Oh, yes, for Cat Crone! Go on, Austin, shoot! Oh, 
offside anyway, but what a chance. Good save from the goalkeeper. And that is half time. What a half so far for Swindon. I think we've done all right. We haven't conceded yet. Nil nil scoreline at the break. So guys, half time nil nil. Despite us not scoring any goals, I am actually pretty impressed with the defence so far. No, no, no bad mistakes so far. Last time uh, we had our last friendly against Cardiff last season. When we had our friendly against Cardiff last season, our defence was just really poor. But this year, this season, I'm actually looking forward to the season coming up. We're actually doing really good so far, against, especially against the championship side. I was thinking we would concede a few goals by now, but we are actually, I'm, I'm really impressed. So from what I saw in the first half, my prediction for the second half, I reckon it will be, I reckon it'll be one all this time. I reckon we'll score, but I reckon Plymouth will nil. So Frankie, half time, Swindon nil, Plymouth nil. What's your thoughts? Actually, you're right, better than last season's one day. Oh yeah, 100%. I was just talking about that. But um, yeah, what's your prediction? I say one nil Plymouth. One nil Plymouth. Fair enough. So yeah. So we're going to go into the second half now. Once again, I hope you enjoy. So guys. Another 45 minutes, come on town. Hey! It's gone over the it's gone over Stratton Bank. Oh my god, what the hell is that? In the box. Is that not gonna get ahead on it? No. But is that for another corner? No mucking about. It's 2 1 Swindon. Oh, don't you dare. Oh my god. Go on, Aaron. Go on. Oh. oh, go on. Oh, it's the goalkeeper. With another save. Denying Dan Kemp. Oh, he's going. Oh, no. Yes, bro, it. What a block. Go on! Go on, Wakelin! Oh! Here we go, we've got two versus one! Go 
Conway Glynn. Yes! And that is surely that. Jacob Wakelin makes it 3 1. Oh no! Oh! Oh my god! Who was that? Kinsella? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Was that Kinsella? I don't know. But yeah, great clearance off the line. Bad job. Thank you. That's the corner. Well, actually, all over, please. That's the corner. Hey! And that is the end of the preparation for Swindon's 2023-24 season. 3-1 against Plymouth Fargo, who expected that? What a game. Well, well, well. 3-1, who expected that as a scoreline? What a game and what a goal from Dan Kemp. Crossed into the box from McEachran and beautifully volleyed by Dan Kemp. And what a way to start your debut, I must say. Brilliant game overall, especially against the championship side. Earlier in, in, on my intro, I've never, I, you could tell I've just never expected us to win, basically. And the fact that we've done that against the championship side, 3 1, I am really, really looking forward to the season coming up now. So, guys, that's the end of another video. If you did like the, uh, what you're watching, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. So, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. You know what to do. Chill.